Praise the Lord. Genesis chapter 4 verses 3 to 5. It reads, And in the process of time it came to pass that Cain bought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also bought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. And the Lord respected Abel and his offering, but he did not respect Cain and his offering. And Cain was very angry, and his countenance fell. What can we notice here? God did not just observe the offerings, but also observed the people that brought the sacrifice. We are also being closely watched by the Holy Spirit when we come before in prayer. Now, God looked upon Abel's offering with favor, and the Bible says that God did not look upon Cain's offering with the same favor. We have no specific knowledge of what Cain's offering was, and we have no way to know if God has asked for something in particular or what kind of attitude Cain had when he brought this gift. But based on verse 5, we know that God simply was not pleased with what Cain bought. Of the two, Abel knew exactly what was instructed and Cain somehow did not. From this we understand that Cain did not take worship seriously. How are we when we come to God? There was something not right in Cain's sacrifice. Hebrews 11 verses 4 reads, By faith Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain. These verses present a truth which is fairly easy to understand. This truth is none other than our God's first and foremost concern is our faith, our attitude and trust more than any of our action. This does not mean our action is less important. It's very important too. From the brothers we learn that Abel obeyed God according to God's requirements and acted in faith, whereas Cain failed to keep God's requirements and acted in disbelief, even though both performed an action. We however see a very interesting fact in this story. In Genesis 4 verses 6, we see God does not walk away from Cain, but approaches him and in love rebukes him asking, why are you angry? If you do well, will you not be accepted? Cain had a chance to accept his mistakes and make his actions right. But rather than changing his attitude and trusting in God, Cain rejected God's loving rebuke and Cain rejected the wisdom that was spoken to him by God and he rejected repentance. Ultimately, sin took control of his life. What a contrast between the two brothers. God is a rewarder of those who seek him diligently. When you come and worship, remember God is looking at you. So ask yourself today, is your relationship with God right? Are you offering the right sacrifices? If not, allow the Holy Spirit to make the necessary changes in your life. Then come to God in faith. Hebrews 11, 6 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. And when you do that, God will surely accept you and answer your prayers. In doing so, you have now offered unto God not 
an ordinary sacrifice or a normal sacrifice, but you have now offered unto him a perfect sacrifice. May God bless you and keep you with these words. Thank you.